I am so thrilled. It's my brother from another mother, Subir Malik from Parikrama on Radio Bandland. Now, for those of you who are listening to us only on audio, I am wearing the Parikrama T-shirt sent by my brother, especially in 5XL. Because, you know, I turned around and said, hey, the earlier T-shirt is not fitting me. And what a oh. fitting thing as Parikrama is in its 35th year. So nice to see you, Subir. Thanks so much, buddy. Good to see you, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to now start boasting. So Subir and me have lots of connections. He was senior to me in college. We are both Cancerians. Our birthdays fall a few days apart from each other. He is married to my classmate. You know, of course, that's another lifetime <laughs> because now he has two wonderful kids, and uh, you know, just kindred souls. Yeah, so it's so wonderful to to hang with him. How are you doing, brother? All good? All perfectly good, man. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit of nostalgia because the show is called Radio Bandland. Last mm-hmm. year was the opening edition of Book My Show Live Presents Bandland, the gig in Bangalore. And on day two, which is Sunday, 17th of December, is when you guys took the stage, 7 p.m., just before Emil and the Sniffers and Deep Purple. Mm-hmm. How was the gig? I know that you love Bangalore and you love that whole community, that tribe in Bangalore. It was absolutely brilliant, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, it was one of probably one of the best organized festivals uh, that India has seen in terms of rock and roll. And I was so happy because just so many people turned up and, uh, you know, it it, it, it encourages us rock band who stuck for 30, 32, 33 years doing the same thing and uh, not compromising to the market and but still, you know, sticking around to good old rock and roll and stuff like that. And, and people like Book My Show, uh, you know, setting up the way they did the whole festival was something uh, uh, unimaginable. In fact, nobody in the band expected that at all. And um, again, the kind of crowd that came in, I mean, it was packed, uh, the, the lovely bands, the stage, the, the green room, the artist areas, the people, the crew from Book My Show. I mean, what more to say? It was, it was surely one of the best ones and I'm really looking forward uh, to the next edition. Now listen guys, this is pure coincidence. Those of you in video will see this. Those of you in audio, let me explain. On Subir's table is the wristband artist entry for Bandland from last year, which is lovely. (laughs) Amazing coincidence. But you know, we all know, we're all purple fans. I mean, I, I remember being in so many Parikrama concerts and you know, just crying and weeping when Child in Time came on. We used to do a few other purple songs also. Child in Time was very unique because you did a version of it that nobody else on the planet does. Yeah. Um, so, you've seen Deep Purple a few times, but you can never get enough of the legends, can you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, um, I went all the way to US in October to see Metallica, ECDC, uh, Tool and so many bands. Uh, Maiden, of course, I've seen three, four times, but still, you know, it's great to see all of them playing on the same stage together. And as many times um, as you can see them, it never feels old. It always feels at like the first time. Seriously, I mean, uh, they, oh, it may sound cliched, but it was. It, it's always fun, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing Purple growing up with the posters on a wall and so many of the legendary bands. I mean, uh, you know, and seeing them in India, especially, is something which is which makes it more special, you know. You know, I discovered the war on drugs because of Bandland. Because yeah. we were doing some promotions and I started listening to the band and I said, Wow, yeah, mm-hmm. what is this band? Terrific, you know, that sound and Absolutely. the writing and things like that. I wonder if you went in a day before, caught the Goo Goo Dolls and the war on drugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went a day before, we came in specially. Uh, and uh, a few of us came over and we had a great time. And uh, of course, I, uh, you know, it was not just them. I think each and every band that played, each and every band, from the first band till the thing, every band was, was sounding so amazing. And the production, everything, sound, light, stage. I mean, it was world class. You know, the, the beauty of knowing you and following you on Instagram is to know memorable things that have happened in your life. So I'm going to digress a little bit. Okay. The great Bruce Dickinson wishes you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the perks of being in Parikrama and being so passionate about uh, uh, about what you're doing, Subir. I mean, it must have been an out-of-body experience. Yeah, man, absolutely. It was unbelievable. I thought somebody's playing a prank and uh, till Bruce said that, you know, you can record my voice and share it. 
so i still thought of it for two weeks before sharing it and um, very reluctantly you know but uh, yeah it was um, something that was uh, uh, you know i i i never imagined would happen and uh, you know though we had fond memories when we toured together we got to get pretty close from them even the management and and uh, as i told you i traveled quite a bit world over to see made in life uh, i think but yes this was very very special in fact when i had bought my uh, my i think fifth or sixth mahindra vehicle i've been only driving mahindra for the last 30 years uh, you know uh, i waited for the delivery on zeus spring uh, spring team care <laughs> zeus dickinson's <laughs> birthday so i i got the car i said no you wait i'll take it on his birthday and uh, yeah the car number was 666 you know as my tribute to iron maiden so there is uh, a lot we owe to maiden and of course even if we don't owe i mean they they owe us the the inspiration to be playing rock and metal you know it's been a uh, lineup change because sonam passed do you still feel sonam around on stage when you perform yeah buddy it's absolutely um, you know that is something that probably cannot go because somebody yeah. with you have spent the first 29 years of the band and uh, and it happened so suddenly and and stuff like that in fact uh, a lot of concerts we we are still doing and dedicating either dedicating a song to him or you know this uh, when we playing party train the, the original video of party train plays or tear of the wizard so somewhere the other sonam will always be there and always be a part of parikrama i mean nobody can take away that yeah but the new brigade is terrific ah huh? my god i've caught them and it's almost as though sonam's blessings are on the band you had to continue uh, yes, you absolutely. know if not for anything but for him but no, they all come yeah. through yeah they've all yeah, come thanks, through so thanks wonderful so much, yeah. i mean you know yeah it was tough though uh this happened on 14th of february and 22nd march 24th march i think covid lockdown happened so gave us enough time to think rethink our strategies rethink everything i mean parikrama had uh, this major policy for then uh, let's say 30 years uh, uh, then that uh, you know we will not record our songs at all so we never do, liked going to the studio and recording songs and stuff like that we used to just tell everybody to book like our songs and give it out for free I mean, though that still remains, but uh, we realize that uh, in today's time, if we have to reach out to the new, younger kids, younger generation, if we have to make them listen to rock and roll again, we have to start recording our songs. Yeah. And so, you know, we changed our entire policy of how Parikrama worked in the first thirty years, in the last two, three years. You know, um, we've already had about four, five releases in about one and a half years. We just released. Um, A, a live album uh, on only on vinyl though at the moment the open skies had been released digitally and so that makes it about you know 715 17, 17 songs released in the last one of two years which we had never done in our life and many more are on the way very different songs coming in and so you'll be seeing many 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 more releases from parikrama so i love that uh, uh, you know there are two releases already this year and one of them i was in the audience uh, live at irock and you you released open skies which is so beautiful um and uh, you know just before that it was uh, life is certain or yeah. was it after yeah so life is certain uh, it was released before of course open skies is a very old song but mm-hmm. we never had ever released it uh, officially i mean if you go to youtube and type open skies parikrama you will get probably about 500 uh, or a thousand <laughs> videos of open skies they are already you know uh, shared by different people played on different portals stuff like that but officially we had never ever released open skies so uh, on our 33rd birthday uh, this june uh, we released uh, open skies as a digital thing i mean this is from the vinyl the first of the releases that was on vinyl slowly we'll be releasing those tracks also uh, on on the digital platforms and uh, uh that's all it yeah i mean life is certain uh was released last year before that we did transfuse in night uh you know demons of demons time, of time yeah. yeah and a lot, lot of other songs and uh, again many more are coming in so you know when we changed the policy i mean we absolutely changed everything that that uh, that uh, we had stood for for uh, uh, such a long time and uh, uh Straight away, oh sorry, I was all this coming in. I don't know how I switched off the thing also, but anyway. So, so you know, we totally changed the way um, 
that we we thought we will be running this band uh, till the end of the time and you know came up with this uh, uh, thing that you know we have to start recording our stuff and and all, all that kind of stuff so you know that's what prompted us to go to the studio and um, uh, be on it so now you know Nitin and Sonam were the main people uh, who used to compose uh, in the band and uh, we're very lucky that uh, now everybody's coming forward. I mean, uh, there's a brilliant song written by a flute player and, and uh, Abhishek Mitchell, the guitar player, I mean, they've done a great song. Shijan, the drummer, has written a new song. I mean, it's really prompted the band to get together. It's like the same thing, you know, I mean, you know, when, when things need to change, when you need to do some certain things, uh, you know, it's how you react to those situations. And that's what happened. And since the whole load was initially on Nitin and Sonam through the majority of songwriting, I mean, that's totally changed now. So though Nitin still uh, remains our primary uh, songwriter, but yes, everybody else is writing. Balani is writing. I think I'm chipping in wherever I can. Uh, Suhail, uh, our, our, our violin player is writing another violin instrument after uh, open skies. Open skies. Mm. That's coming out well. So yeah, at the present moment, as we speak, out of out of the six to eight members in the band, we have like four or five members who already have new songs almost complete, just ready for us to finish the product and and release. Yeah, I know how much you love the violin, right? From being an El Subs fan earlier yeah. in your career, I like the you see the the album and single and EP artwork has become very important. How do you make it stand out in streaming services? I love you know the. Uh, the cover for Translucent Light, uh, Night, Demons of Time, Life is Certain. Do you get different people to do the, the designing or is it just the same person? They're simple designs, but they're really, really effective. Yeah, mostly it's the same guy, a guy called Piyush who uh, is with the band. He was one of the organizers at, uh, uh, in uh, NIFT Bombay or NIFT Pune, I don't remember where he was and that's I'm talking about 15 years ago or something like that. So he stuck with the band as a fan and then, you know, going through different things. So he took up the designing earlier, Chintan used to do and stuff like that. And and uh, it's mainly Piyush uh, who incidentally also does lights for Arijit Singh and stuff like that. He's the guy who does mostly of, I think we give him uh, basic ideas. He comes up with a lot of ideas and and yeah, majority it is the Piyush who does all the artwork. Lovely. And I have so many memories of great Parikrama concerts, right from the first one at Patel Chest to yeah, 95, yeah, but... 95 Mood Indigo in Bombay. My God, what a crowd we had. Yeah. I always say we because I feel I'm, I'm part of the band. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You have, you've seen the band. <laughs> Form it part of your eyes. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, you know. And then, of course, there's been Rurki, there's been Pilani, so many gigs. Uh, it's so difficult to ask you if you have a top three or a top two. But would you say what is the one thing that really changed fortunes? Would it be that Mudai gig in Bombay? Yeah, Mudai gig, buddy. I always uh, 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 kind of uh, accredited uh, Mudai 28th of December 1995 mm. as the game changer for us to hit Pan India. Before, see, those were pre-internet uh, times, and it was not that uh, you could release a song and the whole world could see it within seconds. It was you had to climb one step the other. It's like you play a show in in Rurki in 1992. By the way, that was our first outstation show. 18th of mm -hmm. uh, March 1992. That was the first show we played out of, of Delhi as Parikrama. And you know, let's say from there, MCC Madras saw us. So they called us there in 93. Um, from there, XYZ. So, so, you know, similarly at different, different places, I guess the Mudai guys saw us. But being at Mudai uh, instantly, because I think uh, the, the satellite channels had just come in. I remember Channel V coming in. You know, we had never faced those kind of things. Uh, things were very, very different for artists and bands in the early 90s, 80s, 70s. Then it's for today's kids. And I mean, it's very, it's very good because it's, uh, uh, it, it's uh, a, a, a different platform and a much faster platform. But uh, we had to play a show you know, to be discovered uh, by someone and hope to be discovered by the third one and the fourth one. And and that's how we used to get shows. And IIT Bombay, the, the number of colleges, because we were mainly playing colleges, the number yeah. of colleges that came there and, and the way the show happened and stuff like that instantly got us uh, uh, the first rock yatra. I mean, that time, Parad and Joji had started 
besides independence rock they in february they started this thing called rock yatra so we were we were invited directly from there channel we came to interview so many people came I and mean, it was like you know uh, uh, just a feeling of just making it big and you know things really changed after that for us lovely uh, go follow them on instagram at parikrama india there's a robust youtube channel also parikrama go subscribe to it and of course go to all streaming sites and uh, catch all the latest music from uh, india's number one band so we malik what an honor what a pleasure talking to you big virtual hugs to you and see you soon brother thanks so much man thank you so much see you soon bye bye and all the best to bandland for the coming editions and hope to be a part of bandland soon someday Lovely. cheers guys take care 94.3 radio 1